Hi everybody, this is Kara Thrasher Livingston and I'm with Senior and Disability Services and this is a quick video to show you um, how to sign up for direct secure messaging and how to use DSM as we call it, just the basics. Uh, this is for our providers of home and community-based waiver services or other um, Alaskan programs that are that senior disability services implements like grants, PCA, and long-term care. Um, first we're going to understand what it is, what it is, um, why we use it, and then I'll show you a little bit about how to put that all into place. Okay, so first we're going to learn um, actually why we use it. Okay, um, direct secure messaging is required for our providers who are doing these services in our Alaskan communities as part of their certification. And I wanna show you our provider conditions of participation, which is one place that you'll see uh, the requirement to use a, an encrypted system to send and receive messages that contain private health information. Under here where it says B, operations requirements, okay, this is what we're calling our direct secure messaging system. Um, it's a, an electronic interface, okay, so it is part of helping us stay compliant with the HIPAA rule, which is where protected health information um, is kept private and the transfer of such information is managed by um, certain HIPAA rules. Uh, one of them being that if it's electronic trans transfer that there's encryption and that um, there isn't a possibility for people to get a hold of this private health information if they don't have a need to know it. Um, so there's been a few different ways for this to happen, but now in our, our, of course, modern era, we all use email to send and receive documents and information, including um, private health information that we want to share with other um, entities that are, that are going to help the people that are, um, that we're, you know, concerned with, our recipients. Okay, so that is is why there's also other assurances that are given through your certification process that tells why you know you would need to be using this um, and you would be needing to you must comply with our HIPAA rules so uh, a lot of us are not familiar with DSM so that is why we're providing this training okay so I wanted to share, share with us how do you get started um, our Alaska eHealth network is the entity that is responsible for many things, one of which is our um, direct secure messaging accounts. And what, when a provider does this, it's all of our, our home and community-based or long-term care um, community choices and long-term care choices. For people living with disability or chronic conditions throughout their life, um, they're also enrolled through um, our funding sources, whether it's Medicaid or and or Alaska State Grants. So we're all um, covered under this rule of having to use this uh, service for, for when we are um, engaging with senior disability services, sending and receiving private documents uh, concerning our, uh, our recipient's health. Okay, so Alaska eHealth Network has put this system together. So you'll see also that any um, medical provider is on here. If they're engaged with state funding at all, they're gonna be in this network. All right, so for providers, and you can see that the, the address up here, ak-ehealth.org, and you can check it out on your own. Um, but for a provider to do direct secure messaging, we actually have to sign up and get an account. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll register for the account. You could either log in and check a message through this button. Um, you could get technical support or you can register. Um, you can uh, apply here. So you would actually apply to the Alaska eHealth Network for your account. And I just wanna scroll down a little bit more. There's a few documents that you would need to uh, take care of to do that. They've got a little list right here. You have to have a participation agreement. You have to have a health information 
DSM addendum, a web account request form, and declaration of identity form. Uh, those are the things that you would submit to this email address right here or by fax. And these are actually links and we could take a look at what those look like. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to also bring us down to the bottom here because it tells you um, sign up for DSM. And there is uh, some more information to know. If we go down to the bottom here, there are different levels of direct secure messaging that are available to different different size provider, if you will. Um, some of us may have uh, just the need for DSM. So basic membership would probably be okay. Some of us are large providers where we'll have patient portal and clinical portal. That is where perhaps a website would have a username and password for patient to go in and access their own records and things like that. That's going to be a higher level of, um, of engagement with DSM. But at the bottom, it has your little chart that tells you the rates of cost. So for a basic, it's $9 per user per year. I'm just going to use that as an example. That means that if you have an individual worker at your agency who exchanges private information to and from senior disability services, they're going to need their own account. So that's one user. Okay, it's not a group account thing, it's, it's one person because it's part of the HIPAA rule that only the approved information goes to specific people for specific reasons for a specific time. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of inboxes and things like that, it's to a specific person. Okay, so I'm going to go back and we can just take a look at that quick list. And this is all going to go to the, the eHealth Network Alaska, aka eHealth.org. This is not senior disability services forms, but you can see, that, you know, the responsible person at your agency will need to read this and will need to provide um, the, the proof, you know, the, the guarantee through their um, responsibility and the role at their agency uh, through this form. Okay, so, so there's one, our addendum form, you can see here. Okay, there, this is, uh, maintaining um, con connectivity and access to the web, an account request form, and it's going to open up in Word, and here it is, okay, your account request form right there, all right, and we're, we're not going to read all the way through um, every single one of these, but that's okay. All right, and we're going to go back to the screen and declaration of identity form right here. And again, that one will open up in Word, which is fine. You'll see my other one pop up for just a second there. But you'll fill these out and you'll provide them to the Orion. Um, actually, it's an Orion form, but that's the, the main host for that website. So Alaska eHealth Network, um, aka-ehealth.org. Um, takes care of all those forms for you. Okay. And we're going to go back to the screen. Okay, so that is uh, the basics of the Alaska eHealth Network. Um, what I wanted to show you now is when you actually get your account number, what's going to happen here is you're, you'll get an email from the eHealth network that gives you your user ID and your password. And I'm showing my user ID right here. Um, it'll be custom to you, okay? But I'm just gonna log in uh, using my own so that you can see. All right, it's not gonna be the same thing, obviously. It's gonna be more so your name, uh, what makes sense for you. Okay, let's try again here. Got the password. And this is what it looks like. I don't have any messages showing right now, but you can see that it's much like a regular um, email. Uh, you have the option to print emails. You have the option to move them into different files, to delete them. Down at the bottom, you can see preferences. You can actually forward emails through this. You have an out of office reply. You can share your mailbox with uh, one other person. Um, 
that helps when we have provider partners or perhaps backup um, for care coordinators, for example. Uh, Sina Fisher is my coworker, so we have a shared um, access. We're both in the system. Okay, you can add different rules about incoming incoming messages and things like that. Uh, first thing to know here, though, is that um, when you are using a regular email address, such as something that's from Yahoo or Gmail or even a regular work email, you cannot send an email directly into Direct Secure Messaging. You must go to the website and send email to and from people who are also members in Direct Secure Messaging. It doesn't work to send it right to Direct Secure Messaging. So if you have our email addresses that are the Direct Secure Messaging format and you just send right from your regular email, we will not get that. You would have to log into Direct Secure Messaging, start from your email address and send it to us there. All right. But the nice thing about it, though, is that you don't have to worry so much about knowing um, an email address for everybody. You can see my email address right here. Okay, you can see the format of it. I'll highlight that for you. So you can see the format. They have a funny format, um, different, unusual format. Again, don't copy and paste those and try to send right from a regular email because it won't work uh, the other way around. It's only when you're within this as well. It's only when you're within the system. But if I want to send something to Cena Fisher, I just simply type her name. And I see a few different names with this same spelling. But I've got Cena right here, and I just click on her name, and it will come right up. Okay, so you don't have to remember the format. You just have to remember the name. And you have to remember to be inside the Alaska eHealth Network um, message, direct secure messaging. You'll have to be in there to uh, to send and receive. Okay, so you can give your you can have a recipients. You will not be able to add recipients that are outside of the system as well. I couldn't just put um, you know a guardian's email there that is not in the system unless they're enrolled into the system. They're not going to get the message. It's strictly for uh, people who are professional people with the DSM um, email address. Okay, so you can just give your message a, sub, a subject and the actual message, and then you can also send an attachment. We have different attachments here that are just kind of random things that suppose I wanted to put that in the attachment. This is where you would be having your private health information, such as um, your uh, medical records and things like that, or plans of care, um, the protected documents that you would uh, you know, if you think of it in paper form, you would have them protected um, in a, a file folder inside a locked office or something like that with a lock. Um, same thing here, but it's all digital. Same concept, right? So you put in your private document and then you hit send and it will send it to your recipient. Okay, I'm not going to hit send because it's just a demo. Okay, so I'm going to hit discard instead. I can discard the message. And you can file the different messages and ways that work for you. And you can have an address book, open up an address book. You can have, it will kind of build as time goes on and you email more people. Okay. So this is all uh, what it looks like, right? And so you know a little bit about the cost, you know about how to get it. Um, I'll give you a quick recap here, if you will. And actually um, freeze on that screen and go back to the screen here. And this is our Alaska eHealth Network, and that is where you get started. Direct secure messaging. If you, you'll always see if you go back to their page, main page from providers, direct secure messaging, apply uh, using their uh, forms. If you get stuck, you can email for support and ask questions, support at ak-ehealth.org. Okay, and you've got your, your price chart and things like that if you look under sign up for direct secure messaging to become a participant. Okay, so you've got that down there. And of course you are required to, to do so um, being as you are a provider for our system um, 
the state of Alaska Senior Disability Services, Medicaid and state grant, or Medicaid, or I should say uh, state plan services, okay, as part of a condition of participation. Okay, so this has been our quick tutorial on how to uh, work with our DSM. Um, if you have questions, uh, I want you to email us, and I'm going to show the screen that has our email, hss.dsdstraining at alaska.gov. And this is Kara, Kara uh, Thrasher Livingston. I'll be sure to pick up your email there. Uh, hopefully, this has been helpful for you, the basics of learning about the basics of direct secure messaging for our Medicaid and state plan programs uh, providers with senior and disability services.